stupid or stupid. And stupid. You know what I'd like to see for men on International Women's Day? What? I'd like to see them doing things that would actually have a positive impact on women's lives. Well, they are the garbage men picking up your used cat litter. They work in the sewer system to clean up your nasty shit. Mine for coal so that you can have electricity to cry about what a victim you are online. Drill for oil so you can have gas in your car to make it to Taylor Swift's concert. Are the truck drivers delivering coffee to your local Starbucks? And are the ones risking their lives working the most dangerous jobs in the country so that you can live a life that's safe and sound? Maybe you should be the one that's more appreciative of men. <laughs> That's tough. Why is it that all these short kings are fine as hell? Like their face is just, their body is just, but they're short as hell. Like they're literally shorter than me and I'm 5'7". Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop dressing like broke me and bait. What is broke me and bait? This part. My friends say I only like rich guys. No, it's not that I like rich guys. Rich guys like me, and I'm gonna tell you why. I follow something called the law of two thirds. Every time I leave the house, two out of three of these things have to be on point. One, my hair. Two, my makeup. And three, my outfit. Say you're going to Target. Remember, Rich men shop at Target. It's not just anyone at Target. Everyone goes to Target. How you look and how you are carrying yourself out in public is going to attract the type of men that you want to attract. If you are in Target in baggy sweatpants, yes, you're going to get the, hey, can I holler at you a minute? I can't even say it because those men don't have the audacity to speak to me. That sounds really rude. But again, how you carry yourself and how you present yourself in public is going to attract what you want to attract. So if you're out there looking like a rich bitch, you're gonna get a rich man. It's easy as that. I don't wanna look cute. I wanna look like a hoe. Like, what's going on here? Oh, I look adorable. It's making me sick. This girl just referred to herself as a non practicing intellectual. Do you understand how much I am now going to never not say that ever? That is, that is now how I see myself because I'm so tired of my brain. This comment, this comment right here. Um, I really don't think that he's speaking for all men, um, because I know that there will be somebody that steps up one day <laughs> to be some sort of father figure for my child, and it's also very, like, I'm very surprised that you felt comfortable actually typing this out and commenting on someone's video. So, hopefully he's not speaking for all men out there, but this was just really disappointing to see. <laughs> the men that are making these comments on these entitled female pages, I salute you. You're doing a great service. The single mom's easy mode has just ended when she became a single mom, and now she lives life on regular mode. Her looks aren't enough now to lock down a man because she has a kid or kids. And she's having to work twice as hard because she's doing poorly what two people should be doing to raise those kids. And she's got to do this for 18 years. This is why she's making the Batman signal for all the simps and cucks. Because she's too tired at the end of the day to do anything. She needs an extra pair of hands and a full bank account. Let's read the comments, shall we? One of the top comments says, I stepped up 18 years ago and I would do it again. Dot dot dot. Hell nah. Someone asks, Young Knox 5, why? And the commenter responds, Because at the end of the day, I don't feel respected for everything I have done for the child from the child or the mother to be honest, and in my opinion, that's HOE shit. That she's looking for a man to take care of her kids, a man will not be looking for these traits. Sorry, not sorry. A former stepdad confirms why it's not worth quote unquote stepping up. You take all the risks without getting the reward. At the end of the day, the leftover female, aka the deadbeat single mom, would leave you in a heartbeat for the man that busted a nut in her. Most of the time, he dumped or ghosted her, not the other way around. These females especially try to baby trap the top 10% males through booty calls. And with the red pill and MGTOW going mainstream, less and less men are going to want to be a stepdad because they'll be shamed. I'm glad simps are getting shamed and made fun of. 
A little shame on the internet is far better than dealing with the consequences of being in a long-term relationship with a single mom. Another comment says, Also, stop saying, step up. Your baby daddy needs to step up and take care of your kid or pay child support. If I date you, all I'm doing is stepping in. Exactly. Why isn't she asking her baby daddy to step up? He's the one that nutted in her. What does the rest of the male population have to do with those kids? If the baby daddy ain't shit, that's a reflection on the single mom as in she's worthless too. Another man comments, Been there, done that, never again. Someone points out the obvious. The key here is, want, nobody wants to do that, but they might have to. Sadly, this female's good enough looking that some lonely guy which she ignored her whole life is going to make the sacrifice just to be with her. I hope that wasn't the case, but these Decepticons will sleep with a man they're not attracted to just to get that 304 retirement plan, also known as marriage. These alimony laws haven't changed. Someone answered this question, what is going on with emerging adult white males between the ages of say 18 and 25 to 30? I ask you this because most of the clients that come to me have young adult white males between 18 and say 30 and they are sleeping all day, gaming all night, hiding from their parents, hiding from the world, smoking a lot of weed. They don't want to grow up. And I don't want to use inflammatory language, but I have seen so much of this in the last 18 months that I would say this is an epidemic. And I don't think it's just one thing. I think it's a complex issue. I think it has to do with the attraction of gaming and the escape of that. I think it has to do with losing faith in the world and the way it's going at the moment. And I think in some ways we all hit that 20s and we're like, disillusioned with the fact that we have to grow up and like kick it into gear and take responsibility for ourselves and maybe we don't want to do that but why is it so much more difficult these days for this generation it's not just white men it's most males in the feminist west she thinks it's white men because i'm willing to bet she's in an upper class white area the feminist society sucks Things are getting more expensive because the government is printing more money to support deadbeat single moms and the consequences of them voting. Men have to do more for so much less. Of course they're going to check out of reality and play video games in their free time. Dealing with these thoughts outside the bedroom is like talking to a blow-up doll. They have no personality beside their looks and usually they're combative, so there's no peace around them. This just proves that women in the gynocentric West are the most privileged people in the world. She's telling these young men to grow up when they're the ones who have no options but to work crappy jobs. Who do you think are the ones working at Walmart, or paving the roads, or tarring roofs in the hot summers? Not the boss lady CEO feminists who fight for so-called equality. Karen's like her ruined it for future generations. It's only now she's starting to notice those effects of the baby boomers' actions. Top comment says, hard work isn't gaining you anything, unfortunately. Exactly. Work ethic isn't valued in today's society. It's either make at least six figures or you're broke according to these thoughts. Another comment, I have a son that age. Have you checked the word out recently? To afford the life of a middle class person had in their 80s, he'll need to make at least 150k a year. Feminism has destroyed society. More women in the workforce meant doubling the workforce, which lowers the wages significantly, which is simple supply and demand. That and inflation are killers along with other big government nanny state policies. Another comment. Because we did all the things our parents told us. Went to college, got a job, etc. And the world we were promised doesn't exist. It hasn't existed for a long time. Couldn't have said it better myself. She responds to her own video with an update. Someone answered this question, what is going on with emerging adult white males between the ages of say 18 and 25 to 30? That video has gotten a lot of play and I've gotten a lot of comments on both the platforms that I posted it to as well as a ton of direct messages. And while I can't be sure, I'm guessing the bulk of them are from young adult white males between 18 and 25 or 30. If you go back and listen to the video, you'll understand that I shared those thoughts based on the typical clientele that I work with. This is a larger problem than just white males. 
Of course, I've gotten some hateful commentary and name calling and assumptions about who I am and the rest of my life based on this two minute video or even on watching my videos in general. And it wasn't until I started using this platform for videos that I really understood that the comments coming back at me were more of a reflection of the person themselves rather than who I am. To those of you who have reached out to share your experience and your perspective on this, I appreciate it. You're sincere, you know, you, how you struggle with working hard and you feel like you're never gonna get anywhere in life and that we Gen X or boomers or, you know, have ruined life for you and, and all of that. I appreciate the effort that you've put in. Also, the young men who have written to me and told me how they are working hard and they do believe in themselves and they know that they can create a successful life for themselves, appreciate that as well. Are there a number of things wrong in this world that are stacked against young people? Absolutely. And I also wanna say that life will be what you make it. If you decide that you're going to be angry and that life is against you and you have absolutely no way to move forward, that is the life that you will choose and the outcome will likely reflect that. If on the other hand, you feel that you can make a difference and a contribution, I believe you'll find a way to do that too. Like I said in the original video, this is a complex problem. One of the ways that we make a dent in creating change is to listen to understand the perspectives. Listen to find the common themes. Listen to find where we're more alike than we are different. But just talking about this problem isn't gonna make it go away. And it's not gonna do anything but allow you to expend some emotion. I know that for my part, I work with parents of emerging adults who are willing to self-reflect and work on themselves and in their portion of the parent-child relationship. And I wanna invite you to think about what you can do to help create change. You got that young gents? This triple post wall single mom who probably got half of her ex's wealth, the house, alimony, and child support is telling you to pull yourself up by the bootstraps. That, it's all in your mind. True, you have a positive outlook on life, but what we're saying is the juice isn't worth the squeeze anymore. The only time these modern women want to build something is with Chad and Tyrone, who use them for midnight booty calls. They try to change these physically gifted males when Chad and Tyrone have no motivation to change because all the thoughts are dropping their panties for them, even though they may or may not be living at their mom's house. Or these thoughts will try to build with the struggle rappers Pookie and Ray Ray who con people into buying their CDs on the corner. Most females today in the West are not content with living a modest life, and many of them have six-figure college debt with a worthless degree and a massive body count from being a glory hole at the frat parties. For those who don't know, college to modern women is HOE University, and we've seen what happens when men marry modern women, they get divorce robbed. So. Like always, these females are clueless about the world they screwed up for everyone. I think a, a mature value. man will not, a mature older man in his 30s should not and will not be entertained by an 18 year old. Like, I mean, we have- What if I told not. you, hold on, hold on, he will. let me ask he you will. this. What if I told you, you shouldn't be entertained by a guy he that's will. six foot three, multi-millionaire successful? How would that your sound? opinion. No, no, oh. what if I told you that? What if I told you that? Yeah. Okay, Wouldn't You're that sound kind of ludicrous? If that's Roll what you want to say, then. <laughs> It is what it is. No, no, I'm telling you. I'm like, listening, yeah. Wouldn't I listening. sound like a weirdo if I told you you're immature for entertaining a six foot three multimillionaire? So so I'm immature for for pursuing somebody taller than me, but that like age how does that exactly. like causation Stupid. does not equal correlation like uh, age and height. Uh, age and height are the same thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, thank you. But age and height are the same thing. You hold on. my trap. You literally just proved my point. Yeah. It sounded stupid what I just said, right? I'm attacking you for your preferences. But my preference is a height and your preference is age. So you don't do yes, 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 because yes. men and women are fucking different. Yeah, yeah. 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 Young, attractive women. You want capable, tall, strong men. We're not the same. Why is that when I say men want younger women that are at their peak, women are like, oh, that's immature. That's stupid. But then I go ahead and say, you're immature for wanting a guy that's tall and has money. That sounds ludicrous because that's your personal preference. It's ingrained in you biologically. It's not immature. It's what you want. Why do men get shamed for their preferences, but no one shames women on their preferences? Because you guys don't make sense. 
These are the same feminists that will cheer on 18 year olds to become OnlyFans performers, yet they'll try to shame men for wanting the fresh fruit off the vine. I'm not saying 18 year olds are virgins because many of them now have been screwing at least throughout high school, if not middle school. It's just a logical estimation with modern women that the older these females are, the more road worn they get. The more problems they'll have and be a bigger headache. And that's where she's clueless or delusional. A mature man would prefer an 18 year old because he's dealt with a lot of women. We don't want a woman for intellectual stimulation or to brag about how many degrees she owns. We want her to look hot with the least amount of bodies and not be a headache. That's about it. A mature man who's got his life in order and is successful has done all the thinking and grinding and survived his mistakes, has dealt with another modern woman to understand they suck. Once he made it, either finally wants to live that playboy lifestyle or be rewarded with a hot, pleasant girlfriend. Not some bimbo who's jaded because she's been passed around and now is trying to be a buzzer beater and get the 304 retirement plan, also known as a marriage or child support from baby trapping a man. Top comment said, after all of that, she still didn't get it. That, or she's super in denial. Or like most females in the West, she has never bothered to think about what men actually want because she's lived her whole life being self-centered. Another comment points out, they trying to eliminate their competition. Exactly, they're just trying to shame men into committing to them. Never mind that this same female probably has dated men in their 30s when she was 19 or early 20s because those older men are more likely to have the resources to fund her gold digger lifestyle. You let her just run away? Can you, can you please just and I'm the one who's unfit? Fuck you! Yeah! If you can't read the text in the video, she wrote, You were the one who cheated and lied, and I'm the problem. And the answer is, yes, she is. Either she picked a player because loyal men are quote unquote squares or lame to her, or she didn't do enough to keep his loyalty. These bedwenches have the personality of a used condom. And worse, they think all they have to do is to show up and add nothing to relationship besides give the man access to their used box. One of the top comments says, but at least you're drop dead gorgeous. And that's the problem. Looks have given these females an entitlement complex because everyone blows smoke up their ass and puts up with their bad behavior. Another comment, I'm so sorry you seem like an amazing person. I hate to break the news, but if she was an amazing person, she wouldn't get cheated on or at least the man wouldn't let her find out. Great women can get cheated on, but the men they're with truly love them because they bring more to the table than their looks. They're pleasant, they cook, clean, are loyal, and cooperative, and they get a troop top 10% man who a lot of women would want, especially since he's taken. But even more so, these great women's egos aren't out of control, especially to the point that they're a detective 100% of the time, that they're interrogating their man at every conversation. They make the home a sanctuary and make the man want to be there. And the top comment says, is everyone going through this? And that's why men have quit dating, because most modern women would rather be used by the top 10% men than be in a stable relationship. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.